The cloud gaming platforms Google Stadia, Amazon Luna, and GeForce Now have officially arrived on Samsung's brand new gaming hub, ushering gamers into the true next generation of gaming where there are no consoles, no PCs. All you need is a controller and your television. So let's talk about it. Are you listening? Hey, welcome back to the Nerf Report. My name is Bryant, and for today's show, we are obviously diving into this huge story where Google Stadia, Amazon Luna, and GeForce Now have officially arrived on Samsung's brand new gaming hub found on their Samsung smart TVs. And previously, we saw the Samsung gaming hub launch with the likes of Xbox's TV Game Pass app, which allowed Game Pass subscribers to stream Xbox games to their television via the cloud. And now, Xbox is joined by the likes of Google Stadia, GeForce Now, and Amazon Luna. Now, it's definitely worth pointing out that currently the Samsung Gaming Hub is 100% free of charge, and at the time of filming this, is only available on the 2022 Samsung Smart TVs. Can't wait for the comments next year in 2023 when someone's like, not true, turn on my brand new television today, and it's totally there. Anyway, as cool as cloud gaming is for me, one of the cooler features about the Samsung Gaming Hub is that the TV will curate not only the games, but gaming videos in the main menu from YouTube and Twitch, which means you could be seeing episodes of the Nerf Report in this hub. The Samsung Gaming Hub will also have support for Spotify, allowing users to stream music or podcast while gaming, which perfect segue, audio editions of the Nerf Report are available on Spotify. Go subscribe. Plus, subscribers to multiple cloud gaming platforms can launch games directly via the gaming hub menu along with browsing for games via categories like first person shooters, sports games, and adventure titles. Now obviously, just like the Xbox Game Pass app, some subscriptions will be required. For example, the GeForce Now app will require a subscription. Plus, you'll have to buy the games that you want to play via the Epic Game Store or Steam in order to access them via GeForce Now. The Google Stadia app on the other hand, offers users a more traditional platform, with Stadia offering users the ability to use Stadia for free, and you can buy the games that you want to play via the Stadia store, or you can subscribe to Stadia Pro, which is the company's subscription service that offers over 50 games to play. And then you have Amazon Luna, who offers kind of a completely different package with a channel subscription model. Users can take a more a la carte approach and subscribe to the channels, which each offer unique games like Luna Plus, Luna Family, Luna Prime, or Ubisoft Plus. And I know what you're thinking, what about controllers? Well, Samsung has confirmed to us that all of the most popular game controllers will work with the TV's brand new gaming hub via Bluetooth. And the same goes for your headsets. Users will be able to connect wireless headsets to your TV via Bluetooth. However, if you are wanting to use your Stadia or Amazon Luna controllers, you will have to connect them to Wi-Fi and then sync them to the television using each service's respective process. Now, probably the biggest point to keep in mind here is that initially Samsung's gaming hub will be available in the United States, Canada, UK, Germany, France, Spain, Italy, Korea, and Brazil. And even more important, Samsung did say that if the streaming service that you're wanting to play is not available in your country, you will not be able to use it. So to all the Brazilians wanting to play Stadia, Tough luck. And to all the Germans and Canadians who are wanting to play Amazon Luna, well, we've talked about this so many times. Is it really worth me apologizing on behalf of Amazon? But look, at the end of the day, this is awesome news for cloud gaming. And this is almost the ultimate dream for all cloud gamers. No expensive consoles, no expensive PCs. All you need is a screen. That being said, I definitely would love to see this hub expanded to other Samsung televisions. I mean, right now, the cheapest 2022 model for Samsung is around $2,200, and that's a 55-inch TV. Meaning it is definitely still cheaper to put a Chromecast or a Fire Stick in your television, but baby steps. We're getting there, folks. Anyway, really cool news, but enough from me. What, what do you all think about this news? Does this make you want to go out and buy a brand new Samsung television? Which streaming app do you think we will see added next? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Hey, thanks again for checking out our channel. If you like what you saw and you want to see more content just like it, which 
who wouldn't, uh, hit the subscribe button right there. And while you're down there, hit the like button. Maybe even consider becoming a Nerf Report best friend, just like the people listed down below did. In fact, don't you want to see your name there? I know I do.